Hey Pisces, welcome to High Priestess Healing Tarot, where you are the High Priestess, baby. I hope you had a beautiful weekend, Pisces. I got a prescription from a tarot reader that I needed to rest, and boy was she right. <laughs> All right, Pisces, let's see what your energy is today. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Please help me in pulling insights for the High Priestess Collective, highest timelines, highest messages for the High Priestess Collective. Okay, Pisces, this second time I'm trying to, nope, third time I'm trying to record this. So I'm going to get this message out quick because now I'm starting to feel like somebody's trying to block this message from coming out. Um, first time I did your reading, Hermit, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, High Priestess Star. There's an upgrade, a change in your spiritual gifts, your clear senses, your mediumship, your clairvoyance, your clear cognizance. However you experience spirituality and psychic abilities, through your senses, the five basics and the clairs. There's a change. You have ascended, you've moved into this next vibration. You've heard of the expression, new levels, new doubles, right? With this new vibration, this ascension, this new frequency that you're on, of course there's new doubles, of course there will be new obstacles. Don't forget, there's also an expansion of your gifts. There's also new gifts, there's also new ways you will be communing with the divine. You will be communicating with your higher self. You will be interacting with the world in a different way, a more sophisticated way. Do not be surprised if the gifts and the way in which you use to communicate with your higher self or higher power source, God, spirit guides, team. Don't be surprised if the same old ways you've used are being put on a little rest. And new ways are showing up. For example... If you lean clairvoyant or claircognizant, clair cognizant, right? You see in your mind's eye, visions or images or symbols pop up in your in your brain, or you have these moments of I just know this, can't explain it, I just know it. In this new wave, they may be expanding your gifts into the other senses now, especially if you've been doing chakra clearing or somatic releasing, or if you've lost some um, physical weight. Or if you've improved in a mental, no, that's not what I meant to say. I meant to say physical. If you've improved some kind of physical habit or routine, but because I said mental, take it. Some kind of mental routine too. Whatever you have changed, there's going to be gifts coming through that way. Okay. This could be instead of one clear vision, one clear signal, one clear sign outside of you or in the mind space, you might get a now a combination of three breadcrumbs that make one sign, one communication, one message. You may smell something, hear a song lyric, and then see something all in a span of two minutes and you'll know, oh, my late grandfather Dominic is here with me. Whereas in the past, maybe you'd dream it, maybe you'd see it. Maybe it was just one of those gifts, not all three. Okay, take that, take that, whoever needs that. That was the, both times I was saying that message, the camera fell. Okay, foofy woofy, lovers, queen of wands. Here's the thing, this is the shadow work queen. This queen of wands is a witch. They're all witches, but the queen of wands to me is the one that, goes into her darkness that just means closing her eyes going into meditation going into psychedelic experiences going into the subconscious um any which way m e m d r m d m a what however wherever sound sound healing she goes into the darkness to meet what her demons the devil the things that have held her back the limitations the restrictions the trauma she's avoiding the ways in which she's perpetuating her own toxicity, right? Like a lot of, and that's okay. That's all okay. As we heal our wounds and the things that have happened to us, we're also going to see, okay, because I was wounded, I was also operating in this toxic way, but I didn't even realize it was toxic. I didn't even see it about myself. So this is like a double whammy, queen of wands, double whammy, the lovers. This is the same card, right? tarot students you see that this is the same card different energy the dark the light and it's both choice but when the queen of wands is between the devil and the lovers look where she's looking she's looking at the lovers. she's choosing the light so she's choosing to free herself from 
this old way of thinking is effing me up or this old pattern that I am witnessing. It's okay to witness yourself like, oh, I'm perpet I'm in that pattern again. What Pisces, what a gift that you can recognize when you're in a pattern. You might be quick to be like, oh my God, I'm effing doing it again. Maybe I'm not healed. Maybe I'm going backwards. It's okay. It's okay. Being awakened is not being fixed. <laughs> when you awaken, you open your eyes to see. That's it, Pisces. No one that's sitting with mushrooms, psychedelic mushrooms, eats the mushrooms and is fixed the next day. They may have a changed perspective on appreciation for life and earth and higher power, but it is only through their changed behavior, which is a habit, just like working out is, just like eating fruit is, just like meditating is. It's through the changed behavior that they'll be able to preserve this beautiful new perspective on life. Otherwise, it was just a recreational experience, period. I'll stand, I'll die on that hill. Just because people are meditating or praying or taking psychedelics in the jungle or at home, um, or they're going to church or they've gone to rehab, guess what? It's nothing if they don't come back with a changed behavior that they stick with. Sometimes we fall off because we're humans, but it's that getting back on the horse and the consistent I'm going to not quit energy that keeps you in this new perspective, this free will, this connection with my feminine, my masculine, the higher, and my higher self. This energy shows that you are either doing this or you've done this. You've broken the chains. The chains are off now. All that means is you're free to see, free to see. Please smash that love button if you know what I'm talking about. You are free to see now. And when you are free to see, you can choose differently. Okay. This was like this, right? If you are seeing... Wait, let me stop. They, they're not... I'm not done. Sorry. Thank you for being here, Pisces. I know we're getting... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ten of cups, baby. Ten of cups... Nine of Wands, Four of Wands, wow, Six of Cups. This is like, um, wow, okay, slow down. Ready? The joy and the fulfillment that we're all seeking, we're all on this path to experience this, right? It's like, oh, I, I found my tribe. Oh, I've, I'm my family dynamic we got it we got it balanced now we got the home i'm on the team i i've launched and successfully you know curated this business whatever the fulfillment is it's literally here for you which is crazy it's literally here for you right nine of wands four of wands six of cups though nine of wands is like i'm so tired i'm so tired i've been in and out of battles Four of Wands, the stability is here. You've graduated. Six of Cups, the sweetness is yours. The trophy is yours. So wherever you are on this like healing to see. Oh my God, my throat is closing. Hold on. God, they don't want this message out. You might not see right away that your freedom is here. There is a a stable manifestation that is pure here. And you, it's interesting. The queen of wands is looking to the right and the nine of wands is looking to the left. This may be a call to be more present. Your stability is in the present moment. You've already made the progress forward, 6-6. Six, six. And you may have had to, um, you may have had to walk through the same lesson three times. The same, um, there's a pattern here that's like, it's not showing up on the table, it's the undercurrent. But there's a pattern that you were, um, enduring and it was three times, it took three times. 
for you to finally either see it or break the chain of it. Breaking the chain means it might bubble up, but it's not controlling you. It's not keeping you stuck. All right, now I'm talking in code, right? What is the chain? What was the chain? Toil and labor, work, occupation. Wow, great fortune in reverse, which is like, uh, some of you are healing grind mentality, like, going and going because we are taught to but not being able to actually receive great fortune great fortune in reverse is like debt right and toil and labor is a purposeless effort there's no purpose in what she's doing it's very rote there's no um fulfillment which goes against the Queen of Wands. She's the manifesting queen. The Ten of Cups is on the table as your fulfillment. Okay, so on like low-key scale, maybe some of you are actually like facing that pattern that wants to come up of like, if we just keep going, it'll fix it. When it's like, no, 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 if you if you don't stop and rest, it's not gonna nothing's gonna get fixed. Or if you don't disengage from this man mentality, you're never going to clear the debt. And the debt could be financial, but I'm not seeing any pentacles. So to me, this means this is like a, a karmic debt of like, oh, I, I came into this lifetime to learn that slow is smooth and smooth is fast. I came into this lifetime to learn when I see the pattern coming up, that's actually a gift. But to see the pattern coming up, it means we have to actually be in kind of like acting on the pattern, even if it's just like dipping our toe in is you know the devil card came up right so it is a, like there is some kind of temptation here it's not like uh, i'm smiling i wish you could see me so to soothe the nerves but it's like for some reason there is like a tempting draw to this pattern that you have and maybe it's just familiarity right but you broke the chain and you're free so now you're seeing this could also be read as the work that you've put in is allowing you to stitch together a new way of recognizing karmic debt dynamics that you might unconsciously enter into. So if you've had a past pattern of, let's see, I'm going to use, I'm going to use, because lovers is on the table, I'm going to use um, romantic partnerships as an example. Actually, romantic partnerships or business partnerships. If you enter into romantic dynamics or business dynamics, contracts verbally or formal with people who, um, if it's like a questionable dynamic, if you don't know where their values are, or if you know they engage in less than, if they engage in behaviors that are not full of integrity, if you enter those dynamics, you are unconsciously, well, now I'm telling you, so it's consciously, um, agreeing to that karmic debt. Because when we act out of integrity, there's it's cause and effect, right? And there's karma, and you might, if you don't see it in this lifetime, you'll see it in another or whatever. But like, if you engage in contracts soul contracts or formal 3d with people who are not operating in integrity or operating on the same frequency of your healed energy then you're agreeing to take on that karmic debt all that to say pisces it does look like there is like so much winning like there's so much fulfillment and peace and stability here um and sometimes what happens is the old will present itself to show you how far you've come and how this may use this may be used to be oh my god i can't speak maybe this used to be appealing or you didn't see it it was unconscious you see now though you see so even if you started accidentally being drawn to the temptation or being drawn to the familiarity or falling back into an old way that's okay if you see it what a gift that means that you're a seer that you're able to 
okay, I see it now. Now I know how to disengage from this because I'm not trying to pick up anybody else's debt. I'm, I'm working on clearing mine. We can't be taking up somebody else's too, right? Smash that love button if you know what I'm talking about. That's like, for real, that's a big, that's like a very big thing, being mindful of who you energetically connect with, you know? Tell me about that nine of wands. You, this is a brand new beginning. So listen, everything that you've gone through in the past, everything, every encounter, every conversation, every heart, heartbreak, hardship, every relationship dynamic you saw modeled and experienced in your family, in your romantic dynamics with your children, everything you've gone through there, you can look at all of it as, okay, these are nuggets of information and wisdom that I can use and apply on this brand new journey that I'm on. They don't want you to stand in this, like, I'm still really tired energy. It's okay to be tired, though. They want you to look at it like, okay, I've gathered all the information now. I have all the data to make informed decisions versus interpreting the fatigue as I should stop. Don't stop. Interpret the fatigue as, wow, I've collected so much information that I've needed. 9, 10 plus four is 14, and that's five of wands. Especially if you've collected this data through conflict, trial and error, struggle. Give yourself a pat on the back like, these are trophies now. Okay. Page. Official person, thief. This is, it's the same thing. You've seen enough Pisces to be able to spot old ways on self and old ways on others. The lovers is card number six. The thief card is card number 24, which breaks down to six. It also looks like it's giving that devil energy, right? You have officially risen into the seeing throne. You see who is trying to take who's trying to swindle but you, i think there's also an energy of like that's a kid right this kid's um what do you call it stealing from their pocket i forget what they call that um it's a kid though so it's like it's almost like they don't even know any better and i'm not saying people who have like effed around with you don't deserve karma or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. And I'm not saying forgive abusers and forgive narcissists or like anything like that. You do you. You do what you got to do. But there is a nod towards, I think you're starting to see the unconscious of others because you see yours. This is going back to that expression. We can only heal others to the extent we have healed ourselves. And really, we don't heal others. We only heal us. And it is through your frequency you inspire others to heal themselves. The other expression is people can only meet you as deep as they've met themselves. Which means you might be seeing the depth of people's unconscious, subconscious patterns, toxicity, taking energy. It is like it is a taking energy. And thieves, they're at some point, you're going to get caught. You, you have a karmic debt to pay, whether it's in this 3D realm the 5D realm or next lifetime. I think they want you to take this role a little more seriously and not in a paranoid way, in like a, wow, what a gift that you are able to see now. The more you're able to see, the, you're going to be able to duck and bob and weave through this pathway that you're on to be here in peace. Actually, there's like no noise on my block right now. It's been so noisy all day. I think that's it, Pisces. You've been given the gift of seeing your own stuff so that you can eliminate the noise. And that makes this come much faster. It's much faster to get to this if we're avoiding the lessons we've already learned. Wow, that's that. Damn. Ten of Wands, Empress at the bottom. That is, that is some shit. 
Okay, that's closed. You have a, you have an opportunity, Pisces. Now rise up. For real. This is like, this is your time to take that throne. This could even be about financial. I know there's no pentacles here, but this Taurus energy of the Empress is sticking out like. Only engage with people contractually, financially, sexually, romantically, honestly, even conversationally, double Gemini energy. Don't give your energy away for free. And definitely don't give it away if you have a little inkling that people are not aware of the ways in which they take. Because that shit will catch up to them and you don't need that on you. Only take this as confirmation. Don't, you know, don't make yourself crazy of like trying to figure out like who's a thief. If you don't know, then then if you don't know, then you're good. Take this as like all of the lessons you've learned up to this point has put you in a very clear seeing state. Your psychic gifts are expanding. Your fulfillment is on the table. If you are tired, please rest. But also know there's a new beginning coming in. There could also be a potential message coming in that's going to allow you to step into this fulfillment a little bit easier, a little bit faster. Okay. Anything else for Pisces? <laughs> is this not the queen that sees the bullshit <laughs> is that not it wow and that was the seven of swords but it didn't come out give me more here um one more thanks okay page of wands emperor this is so wild because we saw that empress before right There's a boss or a leader or somebody who is very stoic in nature. Man. Someone wants to connect here. Seven of Swords at the bottom with the Empress. Remember I said there's like this temptation energy. This could be a father figure. Trust what you see. If you have healed and someone from the past or from the family is coming back around, but you know that they have not done the work that you have done, just stand firm in your boundary and allow whatever limited, communi limited communication that needs to happen, allow the limited communication if you even need to. You look like you're actually exiting something. What is this? You're exiting something and this person wants something from you. I think they smell it on you. You broke... There is a limiting belief that you broke out of that someone used to really benefit from. They benefited from you not seeing your own... This is like humility to a detriment that's why we got to start dissolving that there's humility to a detriment and this person would just come in and out oh my god now we're like the floodgates are fucking open this person will come in and out at their leisure this could even be something could it wow you see how hard i'm having a hard time speaking i'm not even making sense right sorry this feels like such a message that someone does not want out um this could even be somebody who <sighs> you develop boundaries and you're like, okay, my boundary is you can't just call me whenever the fuck you want to call me. You Like, I'm a working person. I got kids. I got a family. I've got things I got to take care of. Can't just show up. Can't just call. Can't just ask. Um, these are my boundaries. This could be somebody you set boundaries with and they over and over and over again would ignore the boundary or acknowledge that you said it and then think that this is the expiration, the milk expiration date. They think like the boundary expires after a certain amount of time. And that's a sign that someone doesn't understand boundaries. But you know what they do understand? The 
they do understand the energy that you hold is something that they want. So they could even, um, they could have even gone away for a little bit and then they come back when they think that you cooled off. And it's like, that's not what this boundary is. The boundary is, um, let's set a date and every third Sunday we'll get together for dinner or every third Sunday of the month we'll have a phone call or um, before you call me, you know, my phone's on do not disturb. So you're going to have to text to, to ask for a time to call me or something like that. Or if this is contractual, this is being like, you don't just get access to me around the clock seven, like seven days a week. You don't just get, and this is the Empress, which is the world, right? 24 seven. You don't get access to me 24 seven just because of this position. There's something about like, it's really inconsistent, this person, which is weird. Oh, the emperor, it's weird that the emperor is showing up as inconsistent and like calculated, but I mean, emperors are calculated. They have to be strategic to be an emperor, but this is calculated around the energy that you hold. There's some like very pure feminine manifesting energy that you hold that you're able to like juggle this um, receptive magical energy as well as some practicality, maybe practicality and logic. Like you, you walk the worlds between worlds and it has benefited this person in the past. And now that you have boundaries, they are, they're like, I got to figure out a way to get back in there. They're going to pull the same old thing. The reason why this is tricky is because they don't have control, but they're showing up as in control. But we saw the devil before, and the devil is um, that glamour energy. You know that kid that we saw in that thief card? It's this person. This is someone who, they might have a status, they might have a role, they might have a title. Family, romantically, um, professionally, or otherwise but they are actually a taker. And because the kid in that thief card is tied to this person, they're also not aware. There's a lack of self-awareness here, but that doesn't mean it's okay. Damn. You're gonna be called to make a judgment call. See how this house is gated? Guess what, babe? You're, you're a gated community now, Queen of Swords. This is also like, this is all here for you. So we're not going to blow it on somebody who's like, hey, I want in. It's like, well, you built that yourself. Like I had to build this myself. So you go build it yourself. But you're going to have to make a judgment call about this person protecting what you've built, especially if this is family. This is giving a death and a rebirth energy with this dynamic. And this is going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to make this person feel. <sighs> this person feels like. Okay, that's too many things. Imprisonment. They're going to feel like you locked them out, which is going to make them feel locked up inside. And what's interesting is when this card came out, I saw the Eight of Swords that you've already disentangled yourself from. So it's almost like this person is going to feel the limitation that you actually were operating in that benefited them before. But you broke the chains for yourself and now they themselves are going to be chained. And this could be as simple as like you just saying no to something. You're just like, I'm not going to that thing. Or I'm not answering this phone call right now. Such a simple thing. Um, but energetically, it means so much. That's why these small habits, these small changes we make, these small decisions around who we surround ourselves with and who we don't, it means so much. Yeah, family room at the bottom. And that breaks down to the Empress. Oh shit. You you are seeing something. That eight is connected to that eight of swords. You officially see this. 
But this is somebody, here's the thing too, is like, doesn't it have to be malice? This is, doesn't have to be an evil person. It's just a dysfunctional dynamic or an imbalanced dynamic. This person could also be tied to a house situation that you are. They're locked up, but you are gated. Someone here is stuck in regards to some kind of um, 3D means where you're no longer stuck because of 3D means, you you have learned how to use the 3D means to protect you. You both hold this magician energy, which is so nuts. So they haven't learned how to master it. That person hadn't, well, I'm so deep on this person, but we're here, so. This person had an opportunity to do the same thing that you have done with this healing. Wow. They don't want to face the heart break of feelings. They don't want to feel the feelings. That siphon, you can't siphon people's energy at all. You can't do that. Yep. That's a dark magician. This person is it's so crazy. I know someone, I know someone like this. This person operates in dark magician. Dark magician isn't always bad. It's the intention behind it, right? But it's using the dark energy to get things done. So you can use your dark energy pain as fuel and create something like a YouTube channel, <laughs> right? Um, this person has the ability, but they use it very lazy or they use it to not host but it's taking secretly this person's very smart fuck this person's very smart Oh my God, the moon and the sun. Um, again, this doesn't have to be a bad person, right? This could be could be a husband. You could be like, I'm just saying no to a husband more or, or counterpart, whatever. Um, the sun and the moon. That's the feminine and the masculine. Um, this is clear. What this person, what this, how this person operates is clear. It's also clear how you operate. So they are going to see this too on you. This is like equally yoked. <laughs> Shit. Um, they're going to see this on you too. Like it's, it's like mirroring. Um, remember stranger things? It's like their regular world, but then there was that like underworld um, environment and it like just mirrored the regular world, but it was just the dark stuff, scary, desolate, cold. There's something happening like that energetically, emotionally. Someone is being pushed to do the healing that you did. But that imprisonment card shows me they'd rather stay stuck than do the hard thing of feeling. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Let's go back to the Ten of Cups. Yep, that's that healing. Star card, three of wands. You're the lead voyager here, baby. You are the captain of the ship. There are other ships following you, right? This three of wands waiting for the ship to, waiting for the ships to come in, waiting for the right thing to come in, waiting for the right opportunity to come in. But the star card, major arcana, it's going to influence the, the minor arcana. So this is a, heavier hitter for my tarot students you leading and in a way that's like remember we we're talking about this change in your psychic ability being like i don't care how slow it looks like i'm moving i'm always tapped into where i'm being led i'm also always tapped into which is the right contract person connection opportunity pivot i'm also tapped into do i need to lay down <laughs> do i need to take a bath do i need to 
star bathe naked in my backyard? Maybe yes to all of them, right? Um, but you're showing up as like a celestial guide to for other ships to do this, for other folks to follow this. You're, and it's because of this like increase in boundaries. Four wands, three wands, that's the seven of wands, right? It's an increase in the boundaries. The first reading I did for you was the hermit in the seven of wands clarifying ace of pentacles, queen of cups. And I was like, oh, there's a spirit guide who's actually literally protecting you in this receptive mode of this new gift, this new formation of your psychic abilities or this change in your 3D that's also a testament to your healing. Um, so by you embodying higher standards and a higher standard of self this is like not just with others this is like i have a higher standard for myself now i i, I won't read cards unless i'm feeling pure and clear because i know it's going to infiltrate the energy right um i'm not going to take this phone call with this person unless i feel mm, like i have the capacity to hold a conversation in a meaningful way, right? It's having higher standards for self. I'm going to eat three meals a day, brush my teeth twice a day, right? Like I'm going to stick to my high standards. It's in the little things that this elevation of vibration really integrates. Wow, 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 wow. Higher fin at the bottom. That is the spiritual teacher. That is a spiritual lesson. This is like what they've wanted you to move from knowing to showing the hierophant's the revealer they wanted you to move from knowing this this is also like well whoever this is you've known this shit for a long time this is like that news this is a confirmation thing but it's almost like in the restricted energy you broke free from you would allow these antics to play out and now you're like i can't anymore and you might even be like, I can't even explain why I can't let this bullshit bullshit, but I can't. <laughs> That's because you have shifted in vibration, in frequency, in faith, in belief, in your abilities. Look, five of pentacles at the bottom, five, five, two fives is a 10, and that's a cycle wrap. You're no longer accepting lack from others, from yourself, from your perception of things. No more. Yeah, you've like... This is for somebody who's really, you've really tapped into the magic of it is all my small decisions that are actually portals into quantum leaping. There's no decision I make that is meaningless. All of them are beautifully meaningful. From a place of like, what a gift I get to choose to be this psychic witch or you know this um this healing witch i get to be this seer every day i get to be this vessel this channel every day from the foods i eat to the things i watch to the conversations i have from the connections i hold the intimacy i share every decision is a portal every connection with a person is a portal so what portals am i moving through throughout the day is it the same old way, but I know better? Or is it I've learned better, I know better, and now I'm acting better, right? Smash that little button if you know what I'm talking about, Pisces. Well, there he is. <laughs> well, who are you? This, this is a spirit guide. Look at that. You know that prayer, Footprints in the Sand? If you don't know that prayer, look that up, Footprints in the Sand. That's important for people here. I read that at my um, Mo, my Aunt Mo. Um, we had a, it wasn't like a formal funeral. It was just like a mass for her. I read that there. This guide has carried you through some shit <laughs> is what that prayer means <laughs> um because it is your birthright to have this seeing to have this knowing this crown chakra the crown is for those who have taken tarot academy remember the crowns are bestowed upon you by the divine the crown that you hold that's open this vessel this channel this change in your gifts this your ability to see 
This is given to you to make your 3D life more enriched and easier. The battle was not for nothing. If you're tired, it's because you fought. You also may have been, there may have been points where they had to carry you. That's, I know I've been carried. I'm not, thank you guys, for real. Thank you. Carry me whenever you need to. But like, it's like, it's not for nothing. That, that bullshit that you walk through, this challenge, this, this obstacle, or the years of this bullshit, is so that you could clear everything your body held and subconscious held so that now you hold the truth of like what everything is truthfully not through the lens of dysfunction not through the lens of being wounded not through the lens of codependency through the lens of clarity and truth you hold the truth now this guide has been guiding you so that you hold the truth look you do you hold the truth i think this page of wands is giving like maybe there was a meekness that's okay i had that too maybe there was a meekness maybe there was like a timidness of like i know i hold this truth and i'm seeing it and i'm clocking it in my head and i know it i've collected the data and i see it but i'm too scared to show them that i hold the sword fucking show them you hold the sword that's what you came here to do your soul came here to hold this sword for a reason they gave you they gave you this you didn't you're not just like walking down the street like you know what i'm gonna tell people who the fuck they are that's not you <laughs> this is the divine being like you see clearly so now act on what you see and let people figure out what they need to figure out on their own you don't need to tell people what you see you don't need to explain what it is that you see they just want you to act on what you see because when you act on what you see, you get this 10 of cups. This is giving like, this is so here. It's here and it's in the now. So the more you disconnect from anything that is not this, the more you will just naturally be standing in this. And that's the part where you're not going to have to work for it. Rest. You, by saying no, clearing these energies out, don't entertain them, block who you got to block, Say no to who you got to say no to. Ignore what you got to ignore. Don't engage with what you you know drains you. By just eliminating that noise, you're standing in this. That's when the universe will orchestrate all these pieces moving around you. That's beautiful. Smash that love button, babe. And now it's upright. What a tale. Two plus six is eight, and we've got that 888 portal again on Saturday. This is your great fortune. This is not just great fortune 3D. This is like all of the things are culminating now. It's like, did we learn the mental lesson? Did we learn how to communicate? Did we learn how to set boundaries? Did we learn how to tap into our energetic frequency? Have we learned how to emotionally regulate so that we're clearly receiving the right messages, not emotionally influenced messages? Am I looking at my trauma and deprogramming and deconstructing? Am I tapped into all this so that I can make decisions in this 3D life and make this 3D life easier? You dress the same. Gold, gold. The enlightenment is yours. Your cloak of pure intention is visible. You are the one official person that's supposed to receive this, do this, know this. Because your soul agreed for this enriching experience. And to get here, it's a no for me dog with this stuff. So that this cl clear opportunity of safety, security, nostalgia, sweetness, connection, inner child healing. Um, the feeling of accomplishment, the feeling of fulfillment is readily available to you. And that is how you become the master builder of your life. Woofy, woofy. Love that. Spirit, give us any more juice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have a blue moon next Monday. Healer, seer, priest, priestess, priestex, soul purpose. If that is not the divine confirming i don't know what is pisces claim it smash that love button you are the seer say it i am the high priestess what a beautiful reading sorry my camera's a little funky today four 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 when i said that bottom of the deck cleansing releasing the old energetic tune-up new beginnings don't these look like eyes 
Trust what you're seeing, kid. All right, Pisces, we have a new meditation series starting next week. Um, we are tapping into our celestial chakras. So it's the chakras that are above the crown. So our galactic chakra, our universal chakra, we're going to get really cosmic and tap into the grounding of these new gifts, the way they're coming online, the, get a, a feel for the land, a lay of the land, if you will. You can register for that meditation series at the first link in the pinned comment below, community members. Um, your promo code is in the community app. So make sure you check the calendar in our app for that promo code, okay? I'm sending you guys so much. Reiki, love, and healing. Pisces, hold my hands. Take a big deep breath in through the nose. Slowly releasing through the mouth. And affirm it, Pisces. I am the freaking high priestess. <laughs>